Now, I want to just, you know, consider this case again and slightly, you know, what happens if I now put a resistance in here? I not C R V C of zero minus equal to V D. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. We should write the equations and we see. We should again write the equation and see. Okay. So this is plus minus. Okay. The current I C is going like this. Okay. So I C of T is C dvc by dt equals the current has to be minus i naught yes no because change. the same current all of them are in series yes so the current through the capacitor is the same as the current through the resistor the current through the resistor is the same as the current source exactly. you can just do kcl on the two ends of the resistor exactly right now therefore what is the, the equation is the same the, the is equation no. is exactly exactly the same, the same right yes so if you if I look at this case, <laughs> I basically get yes. V C of T okay equals minus I naught by C into T plus a constant. Correct. And at T equal to zero, we are saying it is V D D implies V C of T equals V D D minus I naught by C into T. Yes. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. It doesn't have so if you have a resistance in series. It doesn't matter. In fact, this is something fundamental in circuit theory. Okay. Any component in series with a current source does not change the rest the uh, impact behavior. on the behavior on the rest of the network. Exactly. Right? right. So that's a very interesting thing. Yes. So I mean, neither has the slope changed. Yes. Right. Nor has the energy considerations. Nothing. Of course. <laughs> see. So if you look at this, because it's a current source that is providing I naught. Right, the I squared I naught squared R is being dissipated. It's being dissipated time. in the resistor. Right, so there is extra energy coming from the current source, but the energy going into the capacitor is not changing. Is because the same. Because the voltage thing. and currents are the exactly. same. Equations is, are the same. Is exactly the same thing. So right. I think that's another interesting thing in from a differential equation perspective. Yes. If the differential <laughs> equation remains the same, the solution. So will the solution. So will the solution. Right. So in fact, we should give them a homework for asking them to find out. Uh, for example, the voltage across the resistor and voltage across the current source. Yes. The expressions and plot them. Exactly. Maybe we will right. we will tell the students yes. to try it out. To try it. For out. this case. Right. Exactly. <laughs> try it out and see what is happening. So intuitively, you know, it's it's very interesting here, and it, it seems a very fundamental property of circuit theory. Yes. Put us any component in series, it really doesn't change the behavior of the. Circuit because right. the current is the same. Because the, the current, current is the, is the same. same. Correct. Right. So now I am guessing now. Yeah. I should be able to find out a corresponding property of a voltage source. Yes. Right. Now the voltage source, however, behavior is different. It yeah. says that the potential difference across its terminal is constant. Correct. So if I have a voltage source like this, then yes. I guess the counterpart yes. is the following. Put a resistance in. Parallel. Parallel. <coughs> okay. And then maybe if you're connected to a capacitor, for example. Yes. We want to see the, let's say we want to find out what the voltage. Uh, so I'll actually make it like this. Yes. R1. Sure. Uh, I'll call this R and C and this R1. Yes. Right. Yes. So if I look at this equation. Yes. It's the VC of T. Okay. So we can write the equations again and check. Yes. Right. This is just v, VS of T. That has not right. changed actually. It's not changed. So right. I don't expect the voltage uh, yeah. differential equation to change, right? Right. So V S of T is going to be I C I C of T, okay? Because this is correct. I C of T times R right. plus V C of T into R plus V C of. So the equation has not changed. So it's the same first order differential yes. equation. Yes. Solution will be the same. Right? So having R one has not changed anything. Nothing. It because is. the potential at the uh, input of the low pass filter. Is of exactly the resistor the has remained the same. Exactly. So whatever you connect in parallel with an ideal voltage source does not change the rest of the network. Exactly. Okay. And the beauty again here is the resistance R1 is dissipating power and energy Absolutely. continuously. In fact, it, yes, VDD squared by R1, R1 is exactly, constantly being. Right? So VDD yes. squared by R1. Right. Is constantly being yeah. dissipated, power and dissipated in R1. This is yes. constant. So if I look at the energy as a function of time. Yes. R1. 
is simply going to be into tea. Into tea. That's so, right. Right. More that's time, right. more energy, more more. Uh, that's what is going to that's happen. That's right. Right. So, but the voltage source is actually taking care of providing that. That's current. right. That's right. Right. The capacitor is not is not being impacted in any way. Right. Okay. So let's come back here uh, to our current source problem. We saw that putting it in series doesn't matter. Yes. But what if I add it in parallel? Yes. Okay. Now. I have capacitor. I'm going to put a resistor here. Okay. Okay. And I naught. Okay. Fixed current I naught. V C of T equal to zero minus equals V D D. Okay. Okay. So now it's not. So straightforward. It's not so straightforward. We because need to write out the equations and see. Yes. Right. Yes. So what we'll do is, let's go ahead and write the equations. This is again plus minus. This is V C of t. Okay. Yes. So since V C of t appears across the capacitor and the resistor, it's very clear that the I R of t. Yes. Right. Is going to be I R of t. Is simply going to be V C of T by R. Yes. Right. And V C of T. Okay. And I would say I C of T is <coughs> C times D V C by D T. Perfect. Okay. And let me also mark the current direction. This is I C of T. Okay. Now we have. I C of T, I R of T, and I naught all leaving that node one. Yes, they are all leaving that node. So you know some of that should basically be, and there's no current entry, right? So basically, Perfect. you can write it as I C of T plus I R of T plus I naught. Total current leaving yes is, is zero zero because Perfect. there's no current entry. There's no current right? entry. Correct. So what is happening, at least intuitively now, is the resistor is pulling some current that is meant for the capacitor. Yes. Right. And therefore, in this case, we do expect the speed at which that capacitor can charge, the slope yes. of that V C of T and all that will change. Correct. Right? Correct. So let's go ahead and see if that holds. Okay. So now what we have is I C is simply going to be. So we'll write the substitute. Equation one and two into three. Yes. Okay. So I naught plus I R of T. That is one by R V C of T plus uh, I C of T, which is C D V C by D T. Yes. Equal to zero. Okay. Now what do we have? We have C. D V C by D T. Okay. Yes. Um, so maybe R C. I would say. Yes. Right. Yes. Plus V C of T equals minus I not I not into R. Yes. Now this is very similar to what our first order differential equation That's right. was for That's the right. um, <coughs> original <coughs> thing. So here. Yeah. So it looks like it's going to be an exponential then. It's going to be an exponential. Right. Okay. okay. Exactly. That we can make a guess straight away. Yes. So the point is, like we said, if the differential equation is the same, solution will also be the same. That's right. Right. That's right. And therefore, this equation d v c by d t, okay, plus one over r c v c of t, okay. I have to go back and yes, yeah, and equals minus minus i not by c. I not by C. Okay? Yes. And therefore, what we have now is this is like dy by dx plus py equal to q. Q. Exactly yes. similar <laughs> to the equation that we had last time, right? And therefore, the solution is y into e power integral p dx. Sorry, p dx. Equals integral q into uh, e power integral p dx dx plus a constant. Yes. Right. So, so we just write that out. 
vc of t into uh, what is p it is just 1 over rc yes right e power t by rc, RC. yes I'll, I'll skip a few steps yes because we have already done this minus i naught by c e power t by rc dt plus uh, I'll, I'll, I'll call this constant k, k because yeah. I don't want to confuse it with the capacitor. Yes. Right. So, Vc of t e power t by rc equals minus i naught by c e power t by rc divided mm, by, by 1 by rc. 1 by RC. Yes, right? plus k. Plus k, right, which implies Vc of t equals, I just divide by e power t by rc. Yes, so it is minus i naught r. C, C are gone. That's minus right. i naught into r. Plus k e power. Plus k e power minus t by rc. And we know that at t equal to 0, vc yes. of t should be vdd. VDD. So, vdd should be equal to minus i naught r plus the constant. Plus k. That's right. Right. <coughs> so, K is VDD plus I naught R. Plus, exactly. Effectively. Right? right. So, therefore, we can write VC of T equals. Um, so, minus I naught R. Yes. Uh, one second. Let me just get that. So, K is, yeah, correct. Minus I naught into R plus VDD minus I naught into R. Uh, VDD plus I naught into R, actually i naught into r e, e power, power minus t by rc perfect right so this is what we get so i think we can just test this out quickly so at yeah. t equal to mm -hmm. 0 uh, it is vdt it is vdd at t equal to infinity it is minus i naught r it is minus i naught r right, right? Uh, uh, because mm. um, all of this uh, we are basically saying the uh, at t equal to infinity, the capacitor is an open circuit, so all the current is coming from the resistor. resistor. That's what this seems to be telling right. us. Right, right, right. Okay. If you in, in if you wait for a long enough time. If you wait for a long enough time, right? Okay. So uh, I think this is okay. So what? So this seems to be telling us something interesting, right? It, yes. It seems to be telling us that the voltage is not going to go on on and on like the other case. Yes. Right. That's right. So what, <coughs> what does that mean? Because we are basically, um, um, once the voltage reaches minus I naught R, yeah. there is the capacitance gets charged to minus minus I naught R. Yes. It doesn't need, current doesn't need to flow into the capacitor beyond that. Ah. That's what this seems to be saying. Okay. So, you have a, okay. Right. So, if you, uh, maybe if you go back to the circuit, yeah. uh, we, we might be able to see it. Okay. Okay. All I right? think I see what you are saying. Yes. So, let us re redraw that. I have the current source yes. discharging, right? Yes. I not R C. Yes. Right? So, effectively, what you are saying is the moment the capacitor voltage Right. Yes. If V C of T, if V C of T becomes minus I naught R. Yes. Right. Then what is going to happen is the voltage, uh, because the voltage across the capacitor is the same as the as voltage the across the resistor, the current through the resistor becomes I naught. That's right. So KVL, KCL will be satisfied. Yes, that in this means, in this condition. And there is only one current source. So that I naught has to flow entirely through the resistor. Through the resistor as well. Right. That's right. So this seems to be a very interesting case where even though the current source is available, providing infinite current, current for infinite time, so that That's you can right. keep pulling charge out of the capacitor. It can't go on forever. It can't go on forever. It just settles on to minus I naught R. Minus I naught R. Yes. So, this seems to be a nice circuit where you can prevent this infinite discharge actually. That's right. Right. You that's put right. a resistor and automatically that gets sort it, it, of it, it, yeah, that's right. clamped. That's right. Right. Okay. So, this is uh, an interesting case. Okay.